Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. So you me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Where the Demon Lurks. So y'all, yeah, you know how it goes by now. I'm now an affiliate with Green Man Gaming. What that means is that there's going to be a link in the description. Y'all click that link, you get discounts on all the latest and greatest games, and I get commission for whatever y'all buy. Also, my lovely girlfriend Elle is an artist, and I've got links to her Twitter and her FA in the description if y'all are looking to get something commissioned. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> What's this? <laughs> uh, Kobu, the, sh the shop's closed for three days to fix all the damage. Want to come to my place and do DD-14 uh, DD, uh, all night? Your sleepy eyes widen and you tap your reply back. You send a sticker of a line with a thumbs up. See you at dinner time. Oh, you gotta handle some stuff at the shop and do some chores. Okay. Setting your phone aside. Setting your phone aside, you breathe easier knowing you have some time off. Angel, though. Memories of the angel in the store with his bright white feathers flash in your mind. Wings! Wings! You sit upright. I should bring some barbecue chicken wings to King's Place and probably those baby carrots he likes to snack on, too. As you drop a list of materials to buy at the supermarket, you get up and survey your sleeping area. Hmm, the place could use a cleanup before I do anything else. Put your bed away. Yep, pile clothes in the corner, put the rubbish on your table. Coffee table you usually have your meals on is cluttered with so many instant noodle cups that you actually built a tower up to your waist. All right, my little city. Time for an early demolition. This <laughs> this job could do a lot could do, go a lot quicker if I could still open portals. Just for the fun of it, you try to cast open a portal on the table. A tiny portal the size of a penny appears. Crap! It really open? You bend over the table to see how your portal is working, peering through the tiny circle. You see the top of your landlord's bald spot. Yeah, no. The portal failed to appear at the dump as you envisioned. It takes a few minutes for you to close the portal as usual. As usual, your powers have have been on the fritz since the fight. Sighing in defeat, you disassemble the tower manually and throw the cups away. Clean up the pile of clothes in the corner. Ah, my weekly laundry pile. Ready for your shower, my love? Bending over the pile of clothes, you pick them up one by one. You pull out a blue t-shirt with a picture of a white minotaur on it. Oh, phew, this is ripe. What did I do to you? Digging back into the pile, you pull out some more and more clothes. To your surprise, you suddenly have a red jockstrap in your hand. When did I buy this? Probably one of the many items you brought on impulse over the years. When you reach the bottom of the pile, you see something wrapped inside a black plastic bag. What's this? You set the other clothes aside to find out what you've just uncovered. Loud crackling sounds fall as you reach into the bag. Your fingers touch something soft, like fabric. Clothes? But why did I keep them in the... Words fail you at the sight of the old shirt and jacket you wore, you wore when that night happened. Nux! What are you doing? Run, boss! Your time is over, Kobu. No one's going to save you, especially not them. You shudder from the memories and stuff the clothes back into the plastic bag. Nope, I don't need this again. Frustration's boiling. You walk over to the kitchen with a plastic bag. You open the rubbish bin lid and ready yourself to throw the clothes inside, but you find yourself unable to do so. Hmm. The heck with this. You walk back out of the living room and toss the plastic bag right where you found it. Out of sight, out of mind. Hugging the pile of clothes you sorted, you proceed to do your laundry in the washroom before heading back to complete the rest of your chores. Put your bed away. Better put the mattress and pillows away. Gotta make way for breakfast. You fold your blanket haphazardly into the shape of a rectangle. Eh, close enough. Tossing the blanket onto the sofa, you grab the pillows and throw them on top of the blanket. A heavy yawn escapes your lips as you bend over to grab the bottom of the mattress. Mm. You flip the mattress up and lean it against the wall. You take, a quick, you take a quick shower and change into your Sunday best. A simple clean t-shirt and shorts before heading out. I like that shirt. A buzzing sensation in your pants grabs your attention. The reminder you set off on your phone is going off. Supermarket sale today. Didn't miss it this time. Don't miss it this time. Crap! Nearly forgot. Lucky you. The day off means you'll actually be able to make it to the sale. At least some good has come from your recent tribulations. With a skip in your step, you make haste to leave your unit. Gotta run! <laughs> You begin your brisk walk to the supermarket. Clear blue skies and the gentle rays of the morning sun caress your face, welcoming you to the new day. You continue to browse your phone while you walk. Page after page of the latest anime news floods your feed with the occasional intermittent ad thrown in between. One second, y'all. Water time. Alrighty. Your mind is blank while your legs are on autopilot, the news just serving as a distraction while your body recounts the familiar route to your destination. You can practically get there with your eyes closed at this point, a habit you quickly regret when... 
There you are. Uh, music, you're so loud. There you go. Okay. You snap out of it, your legs tr stumble to a halt. Huh? Peering past your phone, you meet the exasperated gaze of yesterday's angel. Lucy! It's Lucian. Also, Lord Kobu, where have you been? I waited for you the whole night and you were a no-show. Whoa, wait, what's with all this Lord stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. The angel crosses his arms and glares at you. Really? You're still putting on that farce after what happened yesterday? You roll your eyes at him and toss your hands up in the air in a half-hearted act of surrender. Fine, I'm the ex-demon lord. There, your scavenger hunt is done. You can go home and claim your prize. He follows beside you. I'm not getting my promotion from just finding you. I need to fix the underworld. Your pace hastens as you are nearing your destination. Look. You turn to Lucian and point accusingly at him. I have nothing to do with the underworld anymore. That part of my life is long gone. Go talk to the fat ass that's running the place now. Vendrake is the problem. He's causing a bigger rift between the underworld and up above. Not to mention the number of escaped souls have skyrocketed. Oh, I guess... No? Okay. Oh, places. Up above. Okay. If the underworld is a soul-crushing company, the up above is a five-star hotel. The perfect place to have all your dreams and desires come true, if your soul passes judgment. I've always considered Gary to be lucky to run the place. I mean, who wouldn't want to run a chill place where you make everyone happy until they turn into pure energy? Wish I could get a place there myself, but for some reason it's always fully booked. If things keep up this way, it'll mean hell for everyone. Figuratively and literally. Somehow hearing the angels' complaints is giving you deja vu about being back in the office with Vendrake sensation you find most unpleasant. Not my problem. Right now I have more important things to deal with. What can be more what can be more important than the fate of both our companies? Crap, I'm too late. Huh? The crowd is surrounded the front of the supermarket. Even while standing on tiptoes, the entrance is barely visible. Damn it, I was really betting on there being less people on a weekday. What am I looking at? It's sale day. Sales day. The supermarket has discounts on almost everything in stock, but that's not why most people come here. The biggest prizes are these rare and limited extra discount stickers that are only given to a handful of customers by one of the staff. I've got to get my hands on one of those extra discount stickers. Discounts? Angel face palms himself and gives you a disparaging scowl. Oh, hey, they're letting us in. Uh, well, see you, Lucy. <clears throat> what? Wait, come back. Before you can finish, you've already merged with the sea of customers funneling into the store. Inside the place is packed with hundreds of people bumping and elbowing one another in the limited space to get from behind the counters to the aisles. You scan the area for any signs of staff giving out the discount stickers. The discount stickers! Spotting a small crowd circling around something in the vegetable aisle, you head over there. Your hunch is right. A young staff member is holding out a discount sticker in one hand. That's right, everyone! I've got the last sticker here, and my boss let me decide on how to give it away! So, if you think you're most the most charming person, come on up! Oh, it's a girl. Okay, female. I think. I don't see much of a chest. Could be a guy. Could be a gal. Could be a, a flat-chested gal. Could also just be the apron! <laughs> the crowd erupts with cheers as they try to grab the staff's attention. No, wait! It's me! Not wanting to be outdone, you push through the center of the circle. Hi there! So you think you're the most charming person in the store? Damn right I am! You flash her your best smile while she looks at you from top to bottom. The staff pulls a sticker from another bundle and sticks it on your chest. Past sell-by date. Your jaw drops. She then turns back to the crowd. Anyone else want to give it a try? I'm looking for the most charming person to get this. He holds out the discount sticker up in the air. Oh. Thank you. A golden furry hand reaches out and snatches the sticker from the staff's hand. Hey, you can't do that. Lucian steps to the crowd. You see the staff's cheeks turn rosy red, transfixed upon the angel's face. Thank you, mortal. Your services won't be needed further. He speaks to her in a very matter-of-factly tone. Oh, uh, it's no big deal. It's I'm just doing my job. She's practically beaming at him with the kind of smile someone gives as though they had just been told they were the most important and most alluring person in the world. Angels. Charming bastards. Even the rest of her body betrays her as she puffs out her chest while bringing both of her hands back. Her shoulders swaying in response to his looks. Listen, my shift in... Lucian walks past her to meet you, extending his arm to dangle the sticker in front of your face. Here, I got this for you. A collective ooh washes over the crowd. No, it's no, it's not like that. We just met. You shake your hands and look out about in desperation to try to defuse everyone else's expectations. 
Meanwhile, Lucian looks at you with a raised eyebrow, wondering if why you were looking so flustered. Oh, <clears throat> all right, everyone, that's all the discount stickers. Hey, please enjoy the rest of sales day. The crowd breaks away, and as they do, you can overhear some of them chanting, some of them calling you both, you both a cute couple. Hello, did you want this or not? You grab him by the arm and escort him to a secluded corner away from prying ears. Thanks, but why did you help me get it? He maintains his disinterest. Look, I don't know what happened to you that got you kicked out of the underworld, and quite honestly, I don't care. However, Gary thinks you are the person to set things right. If it means I have to get you a hundred more discount stickers for you to work with me, I will. You find yourself drawn to the burning determination in his eyes. The kind of eyes that, we, that you once had years ago, just prettier. Well, thanks for the sticker. Don't mention it, Lord Kobu. Just Kobu. Lucian nods. Well, if you don't mind, I've got some chopping to do. Then I'll tag along. Eh, no. I appreciate the help with the sticker, but I've got a date with a good friend. So today's not a good day for this. Fine. I'll consider this as you taking time to think about what I've said. But, I kn but know that I will come back for you. Lucian, don't say that. People will really think we have something going on. You tease him by pursing your lips to make the obnoxious kissing sounds. His brow eyebrows furrow and he crosses his arms. As you watch him walk away, a thought lingers in your mind. Going back. Huh. Image flashes from the depths of your consciousness, a memory of you walking the dark roads to this town. You grip your chest as a familiar sting stabs your heart. What am I doing? I gotta get this done and get ready to go to King's Place. Turning your attention back to the task at hand, you banish the memory back to the recesses of your mind. After completing your shopping, you return home to pack your clothes and everything else you want to bring over for tonight. You, to pass the time, you pa to pass the time till evening comes, you've been watching a new drama show on your laptop. Oh, that's pretty. The sun is set by the time you arrive at King's doorstep. Cool night air continuously blows against your mane, a perk of living at a high-rise apartment. You reach out with your free hand and ring the doorbell. When the door opens, a gentle waft of rice and something fried tickles your nose, followed by the faint, earthy scent of bamboo. It's a signature shampoo scent King uses. Hey, 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 cutie butt. His bright smile warms your heart, as it does every time you see him. Hey, King, I brought you some salad. This would be this would go great with what we're having. Come on in, come on in. Warm white lights greet you on the inside. As he leads you from the walkway to the living room, you take note of your surroundings. Pictures of King and his parents line the, line the beige wall above the sofa. Across from the sofa, the TV is hooked up to King's laptop. On the screen, you see a video is paused on the opening of the new anime series you both just recently started watching. He has always told you that any anime or movie is better on the big screen. You also see a single coffee table in the middle of the living room, probably where you guys will be eating tonight. While I get the food, just you just make yourself at home, okay? Wait, let me help. Plus, I've got to use your microwave, too, if that's okay. Not this time, bud. I've already made a fresh batch of fried chicken wings for you. Oh, what? How did you know? Because that's what you always bring for yourself when you come over. Come on, it's my treat. You can save, you can save whatever you've got from when you get home. Receptive as usual. Thanks. King heads for the kitchen to prepare the food. In the meantime, you sit on the floor and browse through your phone. A few minutes later, King returns with two bowls of rice, a plate stacked high up with chicken wings, the bowl of the salad you brought along, and an assortment of tofu dishes you've never seen before. You lick your lips hungrily while staring at the feast before you. Let's dig in. Don't mind if I do. No, 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 no. You plunge your hands into the stack of chicken wings and practically guzzle down wing after wing in a matter of moments. On the other end of the table, King carefully puts up a piece of the tofu with his chopstick and takes his time with his meal. As you gobble down your food, you feel your friend's gaze rest upon you. Something on your mind? King shakes his head. Oh, nothing. I'm just happy you enjoy my cooking. You swallow your last bite. Of course I do. I don't know anyone else who cooks as good as you. You should open up your own restaurant. You think so? King eyes you. King's eyes practically light up from your compliment. I don't know. You grab another chicken wing, but let it dangle from your hand. Come on, you're good at this. What's stopping you? Well, my parents are one thing. They still insist I use the, the uh, they use that degree of mine. Besides, what I like is watching people enjoy my food. I think some people pay for others to watch the meat, you know. What? No way! Yeah, you'd be surprised what you can find online. You grab a few more wings. Oh, right. Do you mind if I continue the show on the, uh, the show on the TV while we eat? You ready to watch the show? Sure. Is this a new episode? Nah, I was just re-watching the series before you arrived. I think about episode 3. 
You gotta watch episode 5, man. Shh, no spoilers! Right, right, play it. King clicks a button on his laptop and the theme song of the anime plays. You both continue your dinner while watching the show. After dinner in the fifth episode of the show, the tables have been pushed to the side and King's resting his head against your shoulder. The scrolling credits are reflected in your eyes and the theme, the theme music fills the room. You hear soft sniffling coming from your side. King is rubbing <laughs> his eyes, his eyes, King is rubbing his eyes before standing up and throwing his hands at the TV. Mizuki, why did you hand over the butter toast of time to your rival? That was your only way to travel back in time and win Senpai's love! You stand up and pat the alpaca on the shoulder. Gotta say, I'm loving the art direction for this series. King wipes his eyes once more and recomposes himself. He turns to you, smiling. I know, right? The heroine is fabulous! I just adore that uniform they give her. I'll admit I wasn't 100% on board with her redesign. You and the hundreds of so-called fans of the visual novel online. But I think it's growing on me. The studio is a good, the studio did a great great job, especially that running to school toast scene. I'm going to be late to school. He playfully swings his arms back and forth to reenact the scene he just described. You play along and simply nudge your stomach against King. Here comes the legendary truck! Oh no! <laughs> he does a twirl and poses as though he's been rendered unconscious. My dream is to be with my beloved senpai forever dashed. No, I mustn't give up for senpai. Senpai. <laughs> what a great, what a great place to pause it. All right, yeah, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Your tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.